Welcome back to Spend Too Much Diecast. What is going on, crew? Welcome back to the channel. To all you crew members out there, if you're new here to the channel, welcome to Spend Too Much Diecast, where we do all different types of diecast unboxings. So, today we're going to be unboxing the full case of the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. Um, don't really know what mix it is. It says F here. I usually don't collect Monster Trucks. I don't open cases. Um, they're hard to resell if I don't want stuff, but there's something special about this case. So I went ahead and bought the case because I've been looking for one of the vehicles in here and I could not find it in stores. And then these cases popped up online so i went ahead and ordered it and you guys will see once we start getting it open there's actually a couple in here that i would like and the thing with monster trucks is there's only one car per case so i mean as soon as these hit the stores if you're not the first one to get there you're never going to find it so there is the case all right, so there's actually like three out of these that I'm really interested in. Um, the rest I'll probably just end up selling on our whatnot. So make sure you go down below, click all the links, and see what we have there. All right, so the first one up is the Bone Shaker. New for 2023. And I don't know if these have a chase or anything not too sure about um, um, monster trucks. But there's the first one for the case. It says it's new for 2023. Uh, don't know what the difference is. I know they used to have like chases that were like color wheels. I don't even know if they do that anymore. All right, and the second one up is the Jurassic Park Jeep. So this is one that I actually wanted to get. So that was part of why I bought this set, new for 2023. So that one is pretty cool. I do collect, collect the Jurassic Park stuff, so that one was a good one to have. All right, next up we have the Bigfoot. This is one I would not collect. This one is one I would probably end up selling on either our sales page or on the whatnot. But I know this is a bit cat, uh, popular one. Isn't that like a Chevy truck or something? That's why people like them. All right, next one up we have is the Crush Delivery, which actually looks pretty cool. It's got like a fish tank in the back that's all cracked with a shark in it. That is pretty cool. Well, that's another new casting. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, next up we have the Humvee. And I do collect Hummers, so I might end up keeping this one. Like I said, I don't collect a lot of monster trucks, just the fact they're hard to display and hard to keep because they're so big. All right, next one up is the Red Planet Ranger. Again, another new casting for this year. So unless they just haven't come out with any monster trucks yet in stores, I have not seen any of these. So we'll have to see. Maybe I am early. Maybe I thought they're maybe I thought they came out and they didn't come out. So Alright, and then we have the demo demo derb not derby. Delor Deroyal. I don't know. I can't see that because of the trip, the drip. But here is a demo car. It almost looks like a suburban or a Ford. Demo Derby. Oh, that's what it says. Derby. Oh, that's a B. Alright, demo derby. I thought it was like an L and an O and an Y. But demo derby. 
All right, and now this one, this next one, is the main reason why I bought the case. I've been seeing this one on third-party sites for like 40, 50 bucks. Yes, the Fast and Furious Nissan Skyline GTR. Ah, oh. so basically it is the normal casting, because look, it's even got the too fast too furious license plate so they basically took the casting and put it on a monster truck and now i can show you the back i didn't want to show you the back because i didn't want to spoil it so there is the wave fast and the furious oh that is so cool so we had the dodge charger last year and then here is the um, Fast and the Furious Skyline. Oh, I wish you'd get like five in this case. Just give me a whole case of these. Oh, that is so cool. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Join the Spend Too Much Diecast crew. Hit that bell notification. All that good stuff. I am going to put up another video of me unboxing this one with the charger and all that other stuff. So definitely subscribe to the channel. Become a crew member if you have not already. So there it is. So hopefully these start hitting stores soon. Since I just got the case, I'm guessing now that the hobby stores are getting the cases, we might start seeing these in stores. But I have not, and I didn't want to pay all that extra money to get them, so I went and bought a case. I'll keep a couple of these. A couple of these will be probably for sale on Whatnot or our sales page, Cream City Diecast. So make sure you guys go ahead and check out all of that good stuff. But there it is. So out of this case, which one is your favorite, guys? If you found this case in the stores, which ones would you grab? There is a lot of cool ones. I know Bone Shakers, if you're a Bone Shaker fan. Of course, Jurassic Park. So me was Jurassic Park, the um, Humvee, and of course the Fast and Furious car. And this one's actually kind of cool. So there we are, guys. There is the case. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like I said, usually I do not open monster trucks, but we had to for this one. We had to crew. This makes it. So there we go. There is the case unboxing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This is a nice, short, and sweet video from Spent Too Much Diecast, and we'll see you on the next unboxing. Bye.